Okay guys, we'll have um, a go at another long division, but this time there will be a remainder and there will be a little bit more calculation to do than there was on the first example. So we've got a, uh, a dividend of 8,314 and a divisor of 36. First job then, as always, is to create our fact box over here on the right hand side. So 1 times 36 will partition. 30 plus 6 is 36. Remember what we're doing here with our fact box is we are creating um, a the 36 times table. We're writing out the 36 times table, which of course nobody learns off by heart. So unless you're very, very numerate, you're going to find it hard to calculate that unless you work it out beforehand and write it down in the form of a fact box. Now, remember here, I'm just using my, I'm now using my three times tables knowledge. Um, so 60, and this is my six times tables knowledge, plus 12 equals 72. Three times 36 equals 90 plus 18, 108. Four times 36 equals 120, plus 24 equals 144. And remember, I said that I normally do seven or eight of these. It's usually enough for most questions that children have long division questions in year six. So five times 36, 150 plus 30 again here, I'm using my three times tables knowledge, three, six, nine, 12, 15, but I'm adding the zero because of course it's actually the 30 times table, not the three times table and the 30, 30 is of course 10 times bigger than three. Six, 12, 18, 24, 30, that's my six times table knowledge, 180, Six times 36, 180 plus 36 equals 216. I'll do it up to seven this time. Seven times 36, okay, 210 plus 42, 252. As I said, really important that we don't rush that part. Get your fact box done, first of all, because after that, it becomes much, much easier. OK, let's have a go at tackling this long division then now. 36 into 8 can't be done, so it goes in zero times. So I now need to consider the 8 and the 3 together as 83. How many 36s in 83? Well, I can fit two 36s into uh, 83. And remember, on the fact box, the 2 times 36, let's underline that answer. And I need to bring the 72 across and subtract it from 83. 3 take away 2 is 1. 8 take away 7 is 1. And now I move to the next digit and bring the next one down to create 111. From this point on, we're working down rather than across. So now I'm dividing 111 by 36. We're using subtraction, by the way, because division is the same as repeated subtraction. We are um, continuously taking away chunks from the dividend until we get down to zero. So how many 36s go into 111? And we can see the answer to this one is going to be three. Remember to put the answer on top of the bus stop first of all. Go back to my fact box. Underline the answer to 3 times 36, because it went in 3 times, 108. Now, although we can clearly work out the difference between 111 and 108 mentally, I don't mind if, children, you prefer to just do a, a, a column subtraction here, uh, just to be sure, just so that you don't miscalculate. There's a lot of thinking to do, a lot of procedure to do. What we don't want to do is make a silly slip which throws the whole thing out when we've got so many other things to think about. 
So I'm going to just do a, a, a standard um, column subtraction algorithm here, even though I don't really need to, but I just want to make sure we're right. 11 take away 8 is 3. 0 take away 0 is 0. 1 take away 1 is 0. I'm left with 3. Now I need to bring down my last digit. Bring the 4 down, give me 34. How many 36s into 34? Well, I can't fit 36 into 34. So I'm going to have a zero here, which means that the 34 is left over. This is our remainder. So just like in short division, I'm going to draw, I'm going to write uh, an R for remainder and record my answer like that.